So I'm Sam and it's a 1983 Mazda RX-7 FB. <laughs> Well, I've owned it for five years, but that's how long it's been taken to build it. Just randomly searching through eBay, saw the car, thought oh, I'll give it a gamble because it's something different, I hadn't really seen one before. FDs, I like them, but I've, they're quite done, Like whereas I thought, oh, this is a bit unique. Didn't realise what I got myself into. Um, stripped all the paint off it, it was a proper rust bucket, 100 horsepower, 12A, rotary engine in it, completely stock. Um, ended up spending about two years fabricating it from the ground up. First modification was probably after all the fabrication, did all the, like the roll cage, tube front end, uh, had to change some stuff because they run steering box, so uh, it felt like steering a boat. Uh, so it's now like all 200 SX part. Um, so it's basically an FB with a 200 SX floor pan. So the engine's a K20 um, turbo. It's running a 6266 turbo at the moment. Currently it's an unopened engine, other than all the tweaks that it's had just to run in a rear wheel drive setup. But we're changing it over to a uh, full like sleeve forged build, different turbo setup then. Uh, it runs a BMW 8 HP swap, so it's 8 speed, auto box, but it runs a sequential shifter. So I can run paddles or, or a sequential, or I can just leave it in auto if I really wanted to. I took the 12A out and I had a 13B peripheral port built for it, which is naturally aspirated. Um, but it makes will make about 280, 300 horsepower. When I started getting really involved with the build, I thought it needs a purpose. So then I looked at what to do with it and I was like, time attack. And then when you actually class the car, 300 horsepower is not going to get you very far in the level that it was competing in. So I was just like, what's lightweight, easy to get parts, makes great power. Case what was the closest engine to a road trip. Yeah, it's road legal. I don't drive it a lot on the road because it's a bit wild, um, but I, I will go to events that are quite close. So it's on S14 subframes, um, but then it runs, BC built me a custom set of coilovers uh, to get like the correct heights and stuff like that. So they're now on the car and it's running really good. We don't talk about those wheels. No. <laughs> so I've got gram lights on the way from Japan, but they're not here yet. <laughs> body kit I got over from Australia. It's actually the original like trof trophy group C kit. I then molded it, modified it, redid it in carbon, kept the back arches open because they normally go all the way all the way around. But then I ended up getting carried away so we did carbon arches, carbon front lip, carbon bonnet, carbon roof, carbon doors. <laughs> uh, weight wise when it had the ZF6 which is the six speed manual it was 840 kg. Uh, we reckon now with the new swap, it's probably more like 870, 880. So currently it's running 450 horsepower, but like I say, the new forged engine will be good for probably double that. I've got molds for the front wings, so we're doing those in carbon and building some new aero, so lower skirts and big diffuser at the back, uh, all in carbon as well. I built all everything, like all the tube front end, all the exhaust system, uh, that's all three and a half inch, but it's oval, so it flat to the floor all the way back, and then goes back into tube for the rear section, just so it's not an uh, oval tip. Wow, I started a long, <laughs> a long time ago building cars. My first feature with Fast Car was 2010, where I built a SR20 debt swap to S13, which was before Tokyo Drift and all that stuff, and the prices went crazy. Uh, so it was uh, cheap, cheap, cheerful fun back then. Uh, since then I've also built like all sorts of stuff, loads of S chassis, other shape RX-7s, Supra, uh, every, everything, everything you can imagine Japanese. I've probably owned it for a short time. <laughs> Three favourite mods is probably the K-Swap because it's very Marmite with people, like a lot of people respect it, it's very reliable, practical, um, easy to work on because of obviously all the the amount of parts that you can get for it. Uh, the carbon body stuff, because the amount of weight I've saved out of that car, I'm now under factory weight, 
even though it's got like crazy spec roll cage in it, all the tube front end, all that stuff. And third would probably be the fact it's just high revving and turbo. Yeah. It's just fun. Yeah.